Hey everyone, this video is going to cover both hardware and software, and today we're going to be looking at some Houdini, as well as some mocap animation software, and also mocap hardware. Now, this is the result of the Houdini 19 dev cycle, where developers created a mocap stream sop, which allows you to now be able to stream live data from various mocap solutions into your Houdini session, so you can see your mocap trackers in real time in Houdini. So because they were working on this, uh, we also collaborated with mocap developers. So in this case, I got an Xsense a Windows starter kit. And, you know, we were able to not only test that everything works, but also create some uh, animations and retarget them onto characters that were later used in the Houdini 19 uh, release materials. So, um, Today I want to show you guys what is in this kit because if you're like me and you never touched mocap before but you know you've seen all those breakdown videos where there's actors on stage and people that are calibrating equipment and all that jazz and you thought there's you know not, nothing for nothing kind of like within reach for for the single person so this this is probably it and so let's let's take a look inside so in the starter kit here, uh, there are 17 trackers. These are the, the orange things. So there's a kind of like a Velcro backing and they attach onto straps that we're gonna later see. Uh, next is this USB dongle that will catch your signals from the tracker, um, you know, get them into your laptop and then stream it into Houdini and then let me just put this down. So there's several things. So there's a charger cable. Um, there are these straps that are various widths. So these are for like your uh, arms, upper, upper arm, lower arm. Uh, there's the wider ones that are for your legs, like your thighs, uh, your waist. Um, some more for like leg or wrist or foot for example there's also uh, a shirt and the shirt is necessary because it holds three trackers so it's for your shoulders left right and also for your uh, stern sternum chest um, so there's the shirt and some more straps uh the the hand uh oops other side so these are for securing your your hand tracker they are fingerless uh so there's no finger trackers in this kit and here are the uh charger attachments the the cables for for uh connecting your trackers to um to charge and then, and then there's a headband for, for your, for your head tracker, duh. Um, and then there were some other things that I took out. Uh, there's a little, makes sense, dude, for your desk, desktop, your physical desktop, if it's looking too lonely. And then some other sizes of, uh, shirts and also the, the hand, hand, uh, I don't know what you call them, like uh, glove thingies, but without fingers. Um, so I don't know if those come with your kit, but probably you specify your size when you order your kit, uh, and then they just send the things that are appropriate to you. So that is, you know, all of these things are in the case, and that is all you need. I mean, I took all of this and in that case and my laptop and... Uh, I did a session outdoors uh, without without anything like uh, attached and the signal was clear there was not any issues uh, with batteries or range or anything um, and yeah it was quite an experience so if you are not familiar with mocap but are curious about a solution for animating your characters or inanimate objects um, both probably uh, then you know this is maybe something that you want to consider because if you 
can't animate yourself and you don't have any animator friends, then then this is something that is uh, within reach for for the single person or a small team of artists who are creating a project together and need the animation aspect covered uh, in that project. So let's let's have a look at how this all works. Okay, so here we have the MVN Anime Pro, which is the software we're using to uh, capture our motion. And you can see that all the green lights are, are on and each green light indicates a tracker, which I am currently wearing. And all the signals are good to go. So I can just hit OK and uh, now we have to do our calibration. So And now we are ready. So you can see that I'm moving. All the uh, trackers are <laughs> they're good to go. So now we can start up Houdini. So now we just need to put down a file. And we actually delete that. And we're going to put down a mocap stream sub. And select the XNs option. Hit connect. And there we go there it is this is me typing on my keyboard and i'm just moving around my desk uh, but you can see that everything is streaming and if i wanted to do a capture then i just hit record and then let it do do my moves uh, capture that save it out and then do the hd uh, processing and then export out the fbx and bring it into houdini and uh, retarget it onto my character and that is that is it drum roll and that's the a window starter kit by xsense uh i don't have any other things to mention about that um aside from one tip which was twice during my numerous sessions i had a leg tracker uh slip down while i was running and doing jumps and that was only because I wasn't wearing pants. I was wearing shorts, so wear pants. And otherwise, everything else is secure. And I had no issues with batteries or signal latency. Every, everything, like all the clips came out totally without issues. And uh, yeah, I just retargeted them onto um, the various characters just to verify that, you know, things were working and also to prepare some demos. Um, yeah, if you want to find out more information about XNs, then there's going to be links below to them. And also the other third-party developers that we also support in the MoCast stream sub. And hopefully you can find uh, some animation solution for your needs, um, you know, if you can't uh, do, do animating yourself. So thank you very much for watching and until next time. Ciao!